Only on 7 News, take a look at this. Imagine finding whatever this is floating in your soup. That's what happened to one Broomfield mom. It said it happened to her, and she wants some answers. Jacqueline Allen joining us live. And Jacqueline, you spoke to Campbell's Soup Company tonight. What was in that soup? Well, it's a good question. Everyone we talk to thinks it looks like some kind of chicken embryo with feet and all. But what that would be doing in a bowl of chicken and stars, that's the question Campbell's is trying to answer now. Molly was sick all weekend. When and, Nicole uh, Montgomery heated up some chicken soup for her sick four-year-old, yeah, what she found like inside chicken. was hardly comfort food. It makes me sick to my stomach to think about what's, you know, what was in that soup. She's been storing the leftovers in her fridge and keeps getting them out just to be sure the morsel about the size of the star-shaped pasta is still there. It's like a train wreck you can't stop looking at. You know, I keep looking at it and I'm like, how does this happen? When she called Campbell's 800 number to tell customer service, she's like, well, that's not possible. And I was like, it's got feet and a beak and it really looks like a dead chicken. And she's like, there's absolutely no way that can be a dead chicken. Whatever this is, Montgomery says, it wasn't on the ingredients list. And she's glad she didn't feed it to her daughter. What's in our fridge right now? Dead, dead chicken. A what? Dead chicken. How'd, the, how'd that get there? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Montgomery says Campbell's promised to send a courier to pick up the specimen and offered some coupons. I said I wasn't really interested in any coupons because I'm not really interested in having any soup anytime soon from them. And a Campbell's spokeswoman tells me they take claims of product contamination very seriously. They're sending a FedEx box to get that sample to have it tested and they say they will then be able to conduct an investigation. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.